Hi guys, Niall here and welcome back to the 820 BIM channel. Today we're going to talk about how you can create 3D perspective section and plan views in your Revit model. These are particularly useful and quick views to generate for the likes of presentation purposes. We find that in our practice not all of our clients or external stakeholders are particularly gifted at understanding the relationship between 2D drawings and how the building is actually shaped in terms of its volume and simple views like this can be created without too much fuss in very quick amount of time that communicate the space as well to the client and the other stakeholders and we just find that leveraging very simple views like this are really informative for the client and help them quickly come to conclusions in their decision making so to begin the first thing we're going to want to do in order to replicate a view similar to what you see in front of you, which is the perspective section of this building, or similarly a perspective plan, as you can see here, is that we're going to want to go to our floor plan that we want to take a 3D plan overview of, essentially. So in this project, we actually only have the one floor, but if you have multiple floors, you can pick the, the relevant floor that you want to illustrate in this manner. So I'm going to go to the phase two levels zero plan here and as you can see this this project is phased so you have different presentation qualities it's showing gray for the existing and your phase two is shown as a, as a different darker tone so to create our to start with plan perspective view what we want to do first is create a standard 3d camera view so if you go up to your view tab under the 3d view there's a drop down and you can select camera okay and it doesn't matter where you actually place this camera because we're going to tell the camera to relocate to a known plan view so i'm just going to click from the bottom right corner here across the building and as you can see it gives me a view as i've generated now we can in this view then right click the view cube and we can tell it to orientate to a different view so we want to orient a view floor plans and we're going to say level zero phase two and as you can see it brings the camera above the building on the floor plan that we've designated it to represent okay so we're going to go into our navigation wheel here now and i'm going to pan over the center of the building now as you can see in this view we are above the ceilings and we can't really tell what's going on in the spaces below the ceilings and, and the purpose of this is to communicate design intent to the client after all so what we want to do is take a section that is below the ceiling level so that this view presents the cut just below the ceiling so in this view we're going to go into our properties bar and we're going to turn on section box and when we turn on section box i'm just going to close all the windows behind it'll show the 3D box that we currently have presented in the view. What we want to do is edit this so that the section box goes down the vertical plane to just below the ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an elevation. And as you can see, the section box is still selected. I have a rudimentary reference plane here to represent the ceiling heights. So I'm just going to pop that section box down below the ceilings. And if I press WT for window tile, you will see that I haven't actually taken that far enough. I've turned off the visibility of the baffle ceiling because that's what this plane is representative of, but our generic ceilings are actually lower than that again. So what I want to do is in the 3D view, select the section box again, go back to the elevation view and drop that down. Oh, apologies, my previous, and drop that down a little bit further. Apologies again. There we have it. Now, as you can see, we no longer see the ceilings in the plan view on the right hand side. So that is as simple as it gets in terms of presenting a 3D plan view as a perspective. And um, the great thing about this view is you get an idea of the depth of the walls. So rather than just having an orthographic view that you tell to orient to your plan view, the perspective view generated from camera gives you the depth of the walls as they as they travel down towards the ground. So what we're going to want to do here now is we're going to select the section box. We're not going to turn off the section box in the properties because that will remove the cut of the section box. We're just going to select it and press EH to hide in view. 
And then we're just going to do a little bit of presentation work. We're going to turn on our shadows and then we're going to go into our graphic display options and we're going to tinker a bit. We're going to turn on our ambient shadows and under our lighting, I quite like to use sun ambient light as 50. So 50, 50, and in our shadows, I think 15 is enough. And there you have a very quick and easy perspective plan view generated. I'm going to just turn off the crop region visibility. So it presents a little bit nicer. Um, obviously when you sheet, the crop region will not print. So it's up to you whether or not you want to leave that on. But that in essence is how you create your 3D perspective plan. The format for creating your section is exactly the same. So when we go to our phase two works on our ground floor plan, you will see that I have this section A already placed. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to create a perspective section to match this one that I've already created. So first thing we do yet again is we go into our view tab and under our 3D view we select camera and we drag our camera from left to right because it's loosely representative of where the section is going to be taken. Now we go to the view cube in the 3D view, we right click, we tell it to orient to view and we select our section what that does is that pulls into alignment with the section A that we've created. Now I'm just going to change the extents of our crop region. And yet again, you can see we're not actually placed where the section mark is cutting through the building. We are where the camera placed us and we've just shifted the camera to the correct orientation. So what we want to do again is turn on our section box. We are going to close the, view, close the views that we have open behind the current view. And then we are going to select the selection box and navigate to our east elevation. Actually, we're going to go to our south elevation. And I'm going to click and drag this to roughly where our section mark is putting through the building. Now, when we close the windows, you will see we've created pretty much an identical view to what we had at the start of the video. Yet again, we do not want to turn off the section box in the properties dialog. We merely want to hide it. So we're going to press EH. And yet again, I'm going to turn off the crop region visibility. Then we're going to go and tinker with our graphic settings to present it the way we want it. So I'm going to turn on the shadows and then in our graphic display options, under shadows, I'm going to select ambient shadows and under lighting, I'm going to go 50, 50, 20, as I did previously. Sorry, 50, 50, 15, as I did previously and press apply. Um, and as you can see with the presentation, there's actually a variation between the presentation as I have it now and the original perspective section. And the reason for that is because this is a phased model, what we are seeing is the existing phase elements in kind of a gray lighter shade and the detail basically turned off. Uh, but we don't want that to present in that manner. So what we're going to do is under our phase filter at the bottom here, we are going to simply select show complete, and then you'll get the full buildup of the walls. And as you can see, now we've created both our 3D section perspective and our 3D plan perspective to emulate what we had at the start. And now we can quite simply go and sheet these up and present them to the client as we need. Um, so that concludes this video. It's a very quick and easy video. Um, there are multiple ways of creating very quick and visually appealing 3D views in Revit. And personally, this is one of my favorites to give kind of a depth and a perception to the floor plans and the sections that the client otherwise may struggle to interpret. If you have any other questions or comments on this, please let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video and we'll be back with more content like this very soon. Okay, thanks a million guys. Take care. Bye-bye.